Welcome back to This is the Police. We are in episode 5000, I think, right now. Let's get to our headlines. Janitor found dead after stampede at school disco. Wow, that is... That is some crazy shit. Millionaire bum donates everything to church. That is... It's a good cause, I think. Yeah. I'll allow it, it's okay. Gay club admitting minors. I will also allow that, that's okay. Okay, we've got stripes to deal out. Let's see. We'll get McNamara Jr. stripe. Can we? Yes, here we go. You did a good job, I think. You're new. Um, I haven't seen you in work at all. Okay, we have got a message from City Hall. Jack, keep up the good work. I will make sure your final days of Freeburg PD are much more comfortable. Thank you, because it is August 5 and I did did blah, blah, I did hire all my Asian officers. I don't even think I had to because we had Tsubaki, who looks pretty Asian, and Jin looks pretty Asian, and Kochi looks pretty Asian. And just because I thought, hey, I missed someone, I also hate Restian. But yeah. We did good. Destruction of property in the Chinatown dormitory. A student reported seeing a truck drive onto the uh, into the yard at the hostel. A fat man climbed out and began to slice up a bench with a chainsaw? What the fuck? <laughs> Just, you know, fuck it. Randomly slice up your fucking benches in the park with a chainsaw. What the fuck? Okay. Some other students tried to intervene, but the man threatened them with a chainsaw, si saying, sighing, of course, I asked you nicely to keep quiet at night. Now you can park your fellow asses, your yellow asses, someplace else. What the fuck? Why? Why in the world is that the thing you decide to do? I want coach, not to Bucky, I'm sorry. The first thing he, he, he thinks after, you know, the first step, first step in his head apparently was, hey, I gotta talk to him, shut the fuck up at night. Then the second step wasn't like, hey, I gotta go to your, you know, uh, they, they were students, go to your uh, university or your dorm, uh, dorm manager or anything. It was, cut up a fucking bench with a chainsaw! <laughs> okay, that's, I, I would not think that is a good train of thought. Um, he needs some help making decisions. Destruction of property is more serious than we thought. Yeah, no shit! He's with a fucking chainsaw! Shoot him in the balls! No, no, don't shoot him in the balls. We can't do that. We got over $7,200 from the Mafia. I'm gonna take everything. I need the money. Assault with a deadly weapon at the law firm. Because I'm not gonna pronounce all those names. Fuck it. A call has come in from the secretary of the law officers of Dingus Dingus and Dingus. She reports that a woman, that a woman wearing an expensive fur coat and high heels entered the offices of the senior partners of the firm and asked the secretary not to disturb them. Shortly thereafter, Shots rang out from the office. So we're just gonna shoot our officers. I mean, our lawyers. 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 Attorneys. That's the word I can't say. We'll just be shooting our attorneys. Apparently. That's the thing we do now. God damn it. We can still hire a police officer, but I don't want to. Look at them. They're horrible. Also, do I have an investigation running today? Hmm. We got two thefts. You still gotta do more work. Yeah. Okay. I'm not even here. Don't mind me. Destruction of property. Ah, God damn it. They did good. Okay. Well. Mr. Chainsaw has been arrested. I hope they lock him up for good. Well, maybe not for good. If he decides to sell the chainsaw, I think he can be let out of jail. The assault with a deadly weapon. The office door is closed, but inside the sounds, but inside the sounds of men screaming, gunshots, and breaking glass can be heard. Knock on the door, swipe the secretary's keys, shoot the lock. Um, that seems a bit overkill, so we'll just swipe the keys. A bald man in a suit is laying in a pool of blood. A woman in a fur coat is standing on a table, taking aim at the two other men who are hiding behind an overturned bookcase. Shoot the table leg, pounce on the woman. Drop your weapon right now. That won't work. 
That may work, but I think she's on the other side of the room and the door is like where the camera is in the photo. We'll just shoot the table leg. Yes! Fuck, I'm good at decision making. Yes! Close it. The sands need her help. Some punks rans ransacked the house of a family member. It seems like they were looking for something, something other than money. Maybe a notebook with a list of important contacts. Let's lock up these scumbags before they can do any real damage. I will do that in just, um, well, in just a second that has passed now. Austin and Tsubaki, you can do your work. And also we have a thing here in the theater. There, Mr. Boyd, the TV show I produce, Justice for All, suffered a terrible drop in ratings last month. Well, maybe it's horrible. Maybe your show just fucking sucks. Your polls suggest that our viewers uh, stopped finding the shows believable. Well, maybe your justice for all is really justice for only people that um, don't have the money to buy ourselves up from it. Because that's the thing that happens in this world. We are currently shooting the next season, and for the one act. And for one episode we need a real cop who will portray a cop pervert who is kidnapping young girls and raping them in his car. That does happen. That does happen. So this is not all fiction. It's it's it it, it is also not fiction. You know, reality. But it, it it's it's fiction, it's a game. Okay. We don't have a huge budget, but I think we can afford a couple of thousand for you and for the cop who will play the part in the show. And plus everyone in the city will see him in the show. You see? Uh hmm. We'll do a lady. So a lady is kidnapping young girls and raping them. I mean, it, it can happen, but just to fuck him over with this production because he didn't think that would be a thing I could do. That's in my power. A bomb threat at the bank of Freeburg. Oh, god damn it! A call just came in from a bank branch in the center of the city. A man entered, wired with explosives. He threatened to blow him himself up along with everyone nearby, unless he was allowed to speak with the press and TV within an hour. The man claims that the bank took away his house after failure to repay a loan, a loan which he says he never took out. Okay. We'll send three guys and SWAT. I don't want to send Yancy because we need someone to, uh, you know, hold the fort. But we do need music. We'll do this one, the latest one. Temptation blows. Oh, I'm super dumb. He was just in chat um, in the stream, but I forgot to thank him for following. Fuck. The offender at the bank has been caught, and everyone is okay. Like we're supposed to do it. Good job, guys. Uh, Mr. Derek Allen, fuck you, Boyd. Take your fucking orders and shove them up your better half. I just had a police officer quit on me, okay. I'm sorry, Jin. But I do get $3,000, so... You're gone, money is in. I don't know if I care too much. You had a professionalism? 325, okay. Take a while to uh, get that back, professionalism, but... We've got a big shift, big crew today, so we're okay. We don't need your chin. Fuck you. The Sands need help. Our family has several cities, uh, city officials on the payroll. One of them is ushering some valuable items through the public transport system. The goods are slated to ship out tomorrow, but it looks like there are some punks who want to dump the cargo overboard before it even clears the dock. Our man in the port says that he bribed some guards. Too bad they weren't smart enough to bribe the police. Well, I'm glad you're doing it for him. Tsubaki and Austin can help you. They're good, good kids. A destruction of property at the furniture store. Okay. The store manager reports that a long-haired old man with a large knife broke in. He's ripping out the lining of a sofa, saying, "Where's my money? Put this cook in a straitjacket." This cook? Okay. He's obviously sick. Oh. Put this cook in a straitjacket. He's obviously sick. Anyway, come quick. We're hiding in the back. Quoting and, and reading stuff is hard sometimes. I'm gonna send Yancy and Kochi and Perry and Gibbons. No, not Gibbons. Durak. Don't think I've sent him out on any jobs yet, so this is a thing for him. With his uh, police officer stereotypical mustache. Report on the theft 
much. That is the new frames. Hey! Did we need just the one last frame? Yes. I think we can solve the whole case now. So we'll just drag all these down here. Get rid of them. Yes, okay. Um, we've got someone... No, that's the wrong... Wrong sleeve. We've got someone picking up a brick. No, we've got something... Someone walking, picking up a brick. Then throwing the brick, then climbing through the window, then stealing the painting. No. We've got him... Doing this. No, hold up. Picking up a brick, throwing the brick, climbing through the window, stealing it, going away. Fuck! What is up with this gates? Destruction of property. We got him. There was a bundle of cash hidden in one of the sofas. We found money. Yes. Um... <laughs> the offender's car, we found loot. Officers found money at the crime scene. What do you want them to do with it? Bring it to the police and ask the mafia to sell it. We will sell the money, because that is a thing. I think that's, you know, what I'll do, because that way I get money, but... I have never sold money. Well, maybe I did. The Sands are still way ahead of the Vargas. Good. Because I'm with you. And there's a coin uh, on its side. Okay, let's end this day. Day 23. Truckers unhappy with suburban roads. So what? I mean, you're not supposed to be in a suburb. Fire at the Puppet Theater, two actors dead, Freeberg gymnasts uh, win regional competition. Well done, guys. Also, fire at the Puppet Theater, two act. Wow! Maybe we need a game about Freeberg uh, Fire Department. Mr. Banner, uh, is uh, too tired, can't walk straight, can I go home? Uh, yes, you can go home, whatever. Mr. Gordon drank too much, I don't think I can hold it. Uh, fuck. Okay, we just have two investigators today. God damn it. I get money from the Mafia, because I sold a jewelry. Good. Uh, I'm gonna take everything still. Um, while everything is uh, setting up and the day is starting, I've got six officers on shift A and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine officers on shift B. I'm gonna change something about that. Uh, let's see. Tsubaki... You're gonna move to shift A, please. And also, you can see, no. Hmm, let's see. We'll do Kochi, yes. 400 is a gap. Kochi, you're gonna move. Okay, so that's the thing we did. That's good. Uh, we can't hire anyone new because they're bad. I don't want them. Okay, attempted murder. Fuck. A girl shouted over the phone that her grandmother had been killed at home. Holy fucking shit. But that may just be a false call. I don't know. Three guys. Uh, these guys are investigating today, right? Yeah, okay. Just need some more frames. The murder in the suburb. Already attempted murder. The road through the house is strewn with corpses of drowned dogs. The light inside the house around but the door is locked. What the actual fuck? Drowned dogs. Strewn with corpses of drowned dogs. What the fuck is up with that? Ah, oh, what the hell? Okay. Call through the front door, find another way in, and enter the house through a window. We'll find another way in. A bleeding elderly woman is lying on the floor of the living room. Uh, search the second floor, check the backyard, check the woman is still alive. I mean, that would. no. Hmm. Can I send one officer to do that and the other officers to search the second floor? Okay, yes! We caught the bad guy. And, and, and her life was saved. Civilians unharmed. She is okay. Thank fucking god. But the Sands need help. The family bank just called in a report of a strange man in a leather jacket with fake documents trying to empty one of our accounts. Obviously it's one of Vargas' agents, but it's such a stupid move. It is. We don't want to get our hands dirty with this. Just lock him away in a filthy cell. Sure, Asano, lock him away in, with, in some filthy cell. Maybe the, maybe, maybe the dungeons under the church. 
Do churches have dungeons? Did they? I don't know. Don't ask that shit of me. We have a suspicious individual at the drinky drinky store. A cashier just called in, her voice in a whisper. Two suspicious black men have entered the store. They spent a few minutes browsing the rack of with the expensive whiskey. And now they're whispering to each other and looking back at me. It looks like they're planning to rob the store. Planning on robbing the store. Seriously, an another investigation. <laughs> the secretary of a prominent businessman, uh, Elvis, Elvis Calvo, reports that unknown persons broke into the boss's her boss's office and threw him out the window. Okay, so uh, some more people's dead. Report on the suspicious. Oh, it was a false alarm. The men were unarmed and just doing a little shopping. They were picking out an expensive bottle of whiskey as a gift to their grandfather uh, on this uh, anniversary. The sands. Oh. Situation at the theft of the river bank is more serious. Let's uh, send. Th no. Fendal and Gurin. Yeah, I hope I can fix this with one officer. No. Okay. Mr. Sand, you'll have to wait 30 seconds at least. Well, tops. I hope these guys come, come, come back soon enough. Reward on the theft. More frames, okay. How many frames do we need? Just five. We already have six. Okay. Simona Rodriguez, the pharmacist. She said, she said, words are hard. I went for lunch at one, and a couple of minutes later the lights went out. I shut the door behind me. I remember, remember that I bumped into the janitor's cart that was standing in the hallway. I think that's a clue. Colin Marcus, the physician. I suspect the student Aaron Jones. He has come by the hospital several times in a state of confusion, with the red, searching eyes dragging his huge backpack behind him. But it never occurred to me that he might be an addict. He could just have red eyes. If I'm fucking tired, I have red eyes. Aaron Jones, the student himself, says, I was in the bathroom when the lights went out. The only, th only thing I saw is what you normally see when you're sitting at, the to sitting at the toilet. So, yeah, the door. Oh, and then the jan a janitor came into the restrooms with his card. I heard him empty in the bin. Okay, that's all pretty normal behavior, I think. Then the lights came on and I went to the physician's office for a signature, but he wasn't there. Because he was... Hmm. I suspect Mr. Marcus, really. Because he wasn't there. But he could also have been trying to fix the problems. The janitor says, yes, I have the keys to the pharmacy. I wash the floors there, just like everywhere else. Sure. But I don't have access to the electrical panel. My on, only my superiors have those keys. And there's another mystery. Spider Monkey 105 is now following. Thank you for following. Welcome to the party. Uh, let's see. The janitor says he only has the keys. He uh, doesn't have the, the keys to the electrical panel. Oh, here's another mystery. What happened to my garbage bags? Someone took them out of my truck. Can't find them anywhere. So he doesn't have the garbage bags anymore. Maybe Mr. Marcus. The physician, he wasn't in his office. Maybe he stole the... what's it? The drugs? Yeah, all the drugs in the pharmacy, so maybe Mr. Marcus put them in the bags uh, that were belonging to... The bags that belong to the janitor. Yes, Sven's camera says, the last frame before the film cut out, cuts out shows the janitor going down the corridor, his cart standing behind the door in a pharmacy at 13.03. Hmm. So the last frame that the camera has Checks out with the pharmacist uh, statement. Let us see. We have someone kicking in the door. Excuse what? Why is there a person kicking in the door? Is that a thing we read about? Hmm. Uh, I've keys to the pharmacy. Okay, this seems to be just a dude. It doesn't look like a janitor. It just looks like a dude. This is a person cleaning out. He has doctor's clothing, so... Head physician would check out, but student would check out as well. Someone emptying the bin. That would be in the toilets. Does look like sinks? This is a random person. That same person. Checking out his bag. I think we're missing some clues, really. 
This this looks like the head physician walking around with the bag. And the person stealing here. We need more frames. That's a thing. Okay. We don't have, don't have any consistency right now. So I'll just have to wait for a second. We have a theft. Or a report on a theft. It's not a theft. Okay. They did good. Again. We've got some pretty solid officers working for us. Uh, Mr. Sands, fuck, I can't help you. I am so sorry. They're, they're, they're going to be back too late. Sorry. Report on a homicide, yeah, I'm sorry, I couldn't go there. And report on a homicide, yeah, fuck, sorry, I couldn't go there. But tomorrow, tomorrow we will have more uh, officer people. I mean detectives. I think we're pretty good ahead of uh, Mr. Varga. Because fuck you, Varga. Mm -hmm.